many trials does it take until the fixed probability that you should see kicks in? So how many, how many trials do we have to do until that, that amount, that percentage, will go to 0.75? Or this amount over here goes to 0.5? Here's replication using a coin flip. So what's the chance of hits? You know what the chance of hits is. When you flip a coin, it is 50-50. But how many trials do you have to do until you see 50-50? Well, here's the computer simulating coin flips. Now watch what happens. See it stabilizing? It's getting close to that 50-50 line right here. But it's still not there yet. It's still off. So how do you make it better? You hold it down longer. You keep flipping the coin. Right now, I flipped the coin about 400 times. About Right now, it's too low. Right now, it's under. It's going off the, off the chart. Now, we're still keeping track of them. Don't worry. If you, if you want the visual, you can see it. But the idea is there's no answer. The answer is how close do you want to be. And the thing is, and this is rounding off the two decimals. There's actually, that's inaccurate. It technically goes on for hundreds and hundreds of decimals. So the question becomes, how accurate do you need it to be? The best answer is, don't you guys worry about it. If I give you data, you just fit the data, fit the, fit the equation, find the rate, and pull the rate off the model. This, this is actually, there's a neat, uh, what the hell is it called? Epsilon delta proofs from calculus class that have a really neat statement of how close do you want to be. Remember how we kept zooming in on the curve? Remember that? We'll do it right now on the TI curve. A couple of you guys were asking how to use that Z box last time. The answer is always, how close do you want to be? Well, when you hit the 0.75, how close to 0.75? Because you're not ever at 0.75. Just as close as you need to be to 0.75. Great question. Fantastic question. Good, good, good. If you go to your graphs, some of you had asked last time about how to use that Z box. Let me show you real quick, in case you're interested. And then I'm going to show you a different kind of exponential change.